Hello, prospective ghost hunters. Today, your teacher, Busty Ghost Lover, is going to teach you how to exercise a ghost haunting one of these houses. Now, because most of you are amateurs, I want to be on amateur here, all right? Greg, I don't want to hear your sass. I don't care if you peed your pants. I've already pooped my pants. Be ready when you come to this class. Are we going to use Ouija boards? Well, I wouldn't recommend it, but we might just. All right, so I'm going to go over here and let's go. Welcome, students. Now, before we get started, you'll notice that there is a timer. We have exactly five minutes to set up our equipment to catch the spook haunting the house. Now, I don't want you all to be concerned. I am a professional, but if you do want to be professional ghost hunters, you are going to have to set some realistic goals for yourself. Now, number one, we need to find evidence of the paranormal with an EMF reader. Luckily, we will have one somewhere over here. We'll get to all of that. Get an average sanity below 25. I will not be doing that. I like my sanity. However, if you feel like you want to go insane, that's very much up to you. Have a member of your team witness a ghost event. I will have to be the one witnessing this ghost event. Now, we have a keyboard that doesn't seem to be working. So let's the IT guy. We are looking for Harold Alexander, apparently. So that was the ghost's name. Now, your tools, prospective ghost hunters. Number one, the good old camera. Ah. Stick the camera onto your utility belt because you are going to need that prospective camera user. We're going to grab ourselves a nice big old flashlight. And this is going to help us see in the dark. All right. I'm just going to, where can I put that on my utility belt? You're basically Batman. We need to figure out what this ghost is. Now, you might be asking, how do we figure out? That's where this book comes in, right? Holster your flashlight right there. Perfect. Now, you're going to want to make sure to check out. So, we have a bunch of ghosts. I'm not going to go through all of that. But you can see, um, there's a lot of stuff here. Now, I don't think we have an EMF reader. So, this is not going to work out so well. But, there are a lot of ways to catch the spook. Grab the keys. We got the keys. Beep, beep. Uh, beep, boop. Open. Hello? Uh, beep boop. Beep boop. Do I need to enter? Oh. Now might be a good time to let you know that your teacher is... Pretty not happy with the dark. This flashlight sucks. Don't sass me, Jimmy. Hmm. That right there is a door. Okay. Oh my word, this flashlight is... This flashlight sucks! Oh, uh, hello! Oh boy. Do not do that to me. Uh, let go. Uh, uh, uh. Door! Why do you not door? Why is the door not dooring? Someone explain to the door that it needs to be Dora the Explorer. Okay, I'm going back because... Oh my word, that's horrifying. Number one, that right there is a ghost activity meter. That means I barely opened that door and that ghost wanted me. That right there tells you that this is a dangerous entity. I only have four minutes before that ghost decides to do weird, wonderful things. I don't want to do that. So you just hold on to your teeny tiny pants. Welcome back, prospective ghost hunters. I am in my cozy office away from the madness, but that does not mean you can slap. I am a professional. Right, into the dark, spooky, horror house we go. Beep boop. Uh, hello? Perfect, now what you're first gonna wanna do is have a look at the objects. You're gonna wanna make sure that you look around real good, like. See if there's anything weird. Now, we are gonna check if there, if there are some lights working. The lights do seem to be working. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that the ghost knows that we are in its house, okay? We want this ghost to know that this ghost is intruding in this place. Now, there's a couple of questions we can ask the ghost. The very first question we need to ask this ghost is how are you doing? We heard some creepy ghost activity happening. Well done, Gerald. You figured it out. It is indeed a ghost. Oh boy, there's a spooky downstairs. Wonderful. There's an absolutely... How many of you like spooky downstairs and creepy garages, huh? <gasps> And that, my dear friends, is how you get frightened. 
Okay, so we're just gonna drop that there. And that seems to be moving. That's wonderful. Just move on your own. All right, perfect. Well, now we know what the ghost is doing. Let's see what we can do about that. Using the evidence I found, it seems to be a spirit. Now, the spirit says there's EMF, spirit, box, and ghost writing. We did not see any ghost writing. However, we did see that ghost doing real wonderful stuff. So if we could get some ghost writing, did you perhaps write me a beautiful letter, ghost? No, that ghost took that uh, piece of paper away. It's been a hot while since I've gone on my own ghost hunting adventure. Real strange. Honestly, really strange. This whole thing is really strange. That, my dear friends, is what we call a dots projector. Now, if we could see a ghosty goo move through this, then we've at least got some form of evidence as to what this poltergeist deal thing is. Hello? Could you uh, show yourself, please? Would be real kind of you. It's funny, it's funny. Sometimes these apparitions are just unbelievably upset based on what happened in their previous excursions in the world of the living. This is a bit of a problem. I came underprepared, class, I know. I know I came underprepared. The ghost seems to be slightly upset. This ghost is refusing to cooperate, although I will say I was pretty underprepared. Well, in these situations, ghost hunters, we make an educated guess. Now, since it does want EMF, I'm just going to go with the first option. And we're just going to say it's a spirit. That's what we're That's why we're locking it in and we're leaving. Sometimes you just got to take the L. You do. Sometimes you just got to take the L. Don't sass me, Gerald. I've already had to change underwear. We're going to try that again. We are. We're going to try that again. Now that you know what failure is about, we're going to have a success here, everyone. Get ready. We have reports of violence. Well, that's a problem. Anyone afraid of some violence? Because I am. Don't worry, Susie, it's fine. The worst that these ghosts can do is kill me. Get the EMF reader out so that we know what we're doing. And we're just gonna go through the house. Ooh, I don't like that that's staring at me, but sometimes these ghosty goos can play with your mind. They play with your mind, they play with your body, they play with your very soul. Luckily, I don't have that problem. I'm ginger. That soul part, that soul part does not, does not affect me. You on the other end, Jeremy. You just start praying to your deity, my friend. I'm just gonna turn this light off and hope that my own shadow doesn't scare me. That can happen. That can happen. Your shadow? Your shadow can be a, 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 a big problem for yourself later on. So if you could get rid of your shadow, I would highly recommend it. I can know some shadow banishing experts. I really don't want to go downstairs again. I am respectful of these entities. These entities, they've had a difficult life. They have. Someone stole their cookies. This is going to be a bloody downstairs ghost, isn't it? <laughs> no. Oh, no. No, you must surely be joking. Surely you must be telling all of the jokes here. Can't you just be upstairs? Do I have to go down here? Oh, and great. Wonderful. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Well, the MF didn't seem to find anything, which is a slight bit of a problem. Let's go check our activity. And maybe, just maybe, we would have spotted some... Oh, it seems like there was some activity going on there. Good spotting there, Roger. Proud of you. Give yourself an A+. We need to go find out where this thing is. It might not even be an EMF. Ghosty goo. It might just be something otherworldly. Now, if you are in a position where the ghost is not cooperating, you need to start communicating. So we are going to ask the ghost... Hello there, my ghosty goo friend. Can you turn off this light? Hello? Is it a little cold in here or is it just me? Hello? Is this house haunted? Or maybe this place was just like abandoned in a hurry because someone forgot to pay rent. This ghost is not working with me here. This is a problem. How am I supposed to live, love, love in this condition? Oh boy, this ghost is not going to be happy in a couple of seconds. 
I honestly thought we would be getting somewhere, but it turns out I'm a horrible teacher. I'm gonna fail my student exams and everything else. <laughs> what if it's in the garage? I just never bother checking there. Ghost, do you live, laugh, love? Do you laugh, love, live? Are you horny? I think I'm in the wrong room. I do. I truly do think that I'm in the wrong room. I don't like that. What was happening there? Was I being possessed? Was possession taking place? Hold on a second. <gasps> possession was taking place. Madness, I say. Madness! All right. <laughs> I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, all right. I'm gonna take a, an educated guess here. Could you come write in this book for me, please? It would be real nice. I like to show my students a scribble of the occult. No? You sure about that? All right. Sometimes you can't make a ghost do what you want to, all right? Sometimes you just can't make a ghost do what you want to. See, it was paying attention just to the wrong place. It's in the garage. I ain't gonna deal with that. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that. Look at that. I used my keen intuition and I figured out it was a wraith. Well done, Susie. Congratulations. A plus for you, superstar. Reginald, you fail. Can't believe you guessed it. What did you, an ornery you? Come on. Thank you for attending this class. If you would like to leave a five-star review, that would be great. And until next time, make sure to carry salt around with you. Ghosts don't like salt. Greg? Yes, Greg, I see you over there. You have the potential to be the greatest flute slicing ninja of all time. First of all, you gotta get your scroll.